So you're a little older and you want to know how to build bigger arms. You're looking for a workout routine to get bigger arms. You're looking for workout routines for older men. You're looking for an arm workout routine for older men. Well, in this video, I am going to tell you how to get bigger arms. I'm going to show you how to build bigger arms. In this video, I am going to tell you how to build bigger biceps. I'm going to tell you how to build bigger triceps. I'm going to tell you how to build bigger forearms. In this video, I am going to outline a complete workout routine for you so you can build bigger arms. I'm going to do that for you and a lot more for you in this video to help you build bigger arms. Hi, I'm Skip LaCour and I am the world's leading manformation expert. I help older men with busy, productive lives look and feel their best. I help older men with busy, productive lives make sense out of the extreme, passionate, and sometimes conflicting fitness information that's out there so they can reach their goals. I am a six-time national champion drug-free bodybuilder and I am the creator of the Manformation Personal Development Program that is specifically designed for men to help them become their best both inside and outside of the gym. So you want to build bigger arms. When you're a little bit older, the first question that you might ask is, can I build bigger arms now that I'm a little bit older? Well, your mindset is so important to the whole training process, exercise, health, and fitness. Just because you're a little bit older, you have to make sure that you don't limit yourself. Of course you can build bigger arms when you're older. You may not be able to do what you were able to do when you were younger or if you would have been training your arms when you were younger, but you have to worry about what's in front of you. From this day forward, becoming your very best. That's very important. In this extreme fitness world where you get so much information from the young guys, it's either black or white, in and out. It's either you can build muscle when you get older or it's just impossible. The truth of the matter is if you are overloading the muscle, even though you're older, you can build muscle. And this is especially true if you're an older man and you're just getting into fitness. The whole process is new to you and you're training your arm. So yes, you can build muscle even though you're a little bit older. Again, you may not be able to build muscle as quickly, as effectively and efficiently as you were able to do in the past, and neither can I. My arms were a lot bigger, but I love my arms. I know how to train them. I'm going to teach you how to build bigger arms in this video too. Let me give you a little tip. To have quality muscle, to have arms that look great, you may want to put less emphasis on the size of your biceps. You want to train those biceps. You want to progressively overload them. I'm going to show you exercises to build your arms. But when you get lean, you lose the body fat, you concentrate on your diet, you will see the detail in your biceps, uh, your triceps, in your forearms, and that will have you look like you have bigger arms. The quality will just stand out. So you want to remember that when you are trying to build bigger arms. Now let's talk about uh, the foundation to all arm exercises when you're trying to build bigger arms. Now this is true when you're doing bicep exercises, tricep exercises, and forearm exercises. This foundation that I am going to explain to you, uh, this is true of every single exercise when you train in the gym. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a rock solid base with your feet firmly planted into the ground. They are firmly planted into the ground and they are shoulder width apart. Now, it won't matter if it, you are uh, seated, standing, laying down. You want your feet firmly planted into the ground. All right. The next thing you want to make sure that you do is that they're shoulder width apart. Right? Nice solid base. You, we, we're working from the ground up. So your knees uh, they're slightly bent. They're like shock absorbers so you can withstand the movement and the weight. Your hips 
are straight. Your lower back is arched, nice and tight. Your shoulders are back. Your chest is up. Your head is up. Your eyes looking forward, and your head is even stretched up. All right, so that is the foundation uh, that you will need to keep in mind and practice when you are working hard to build bigger arms. So here are some biceps training tips. Right, when you get the bar, you want to get that foundation. You want to you want to curl the bar up in a nice wide arc on the way up and on the way down. A nice wide arc on the way up and on the way down. What you don't want to do is cut the movement short. Get that big long stretch. You also want to explode in a one count on the way up and you control the weight on the way down. You don't just let it come down. So explode in a one count and then control the weight in a one, two count. Your elbows, you want your elbows to be dragging against your body, all right? You want elbows to be nice and tight during this movement, all right? You don't want them to flare out. All right, let me show you that from behind, all right? Your elbows are gonna be nice and tight during the entire movement, all right? You don't want them flaring out like that. All right? Now you might notice there are uh, straight bars. There are curl, bar, curl bars uh, that the bar is at an angle. You also have dumbbells, right? You also have dumbbells where you can change the wrist position. Now, all of these bicep exercises, they work the biceps. They all just have a different hand position. So you can just hedge your bet and hit the bicep in the different angles. Sometimes we're better at some exercises than others. So you want to use a variety of bicep exercises. I'm going to show you that during this video. Here's another thing when you're doing dumbbells. It's a little bit different. With dumbbells, you want to make sure that you turn the weight as early in the movement as possible. Let me show you. So I'll be here with my nice firm base, and I'm gonna turn it sooner, and on the way down, I keep my palm open. And then, what I'll do is I'll turn it. So very early in movement, I'm gonna turn it with my palm up, concentrate on that mind-muscle connection with all your bicep exercises, control it all the way down, leaving my palm up. All right, what I don't wanna do is just we we'll see where it's turning, all right? You want to turn it early in the movement and leave it open all the way through. All right. So those are some things to remember when you are doing all of the bicep exercises. Now for triceps, there's a couple of things that you want to remember. First of all, your muscles, your triceps, you want to make sure that you are warmed up. Sometimes it's not the muscle that'll give you a challenge, it's that you have enough lubrication in the joints. When you train your triceps often, that lubrication, sometimes if you don't get enough in, you will have uh, challenges uh, with your elbows, all right? So you wanna be thoroughly warmed up before all of your tricep exercises. The other thing you wanna consider when doing all tricep exercises is that you wanna keep your elbows tucked in during the movement. What they'll want to do during all tricep exercises is they'll want to flare out. You want to keep those elbows tucked in on the, each portion of the movement. You want to keep those elbows tucked in. For forearms, you want to uh, understand that your forearms are being worked during all of your exercises all throughout the week. So for chest, back, your shoulders, all that constant gripping you're gonna be working the form. So they're gonna get a lot of indirect work uh, through your, your entire workout week. All right, you wanna just keep it simple and effective. There are basically uh, two movements uh, for the wrist. Forearm training is simple with basically only two positions to work your forearms. I'm now going to outline a complete arm workout routine for you. We're gonna start off with biceps. The first exercise will be barbell curls. 
This exercise, barbell curls, we're going to use this to warm up our arms. So you want to take as many sets as you need to get your body and mind ready for the entire workout routine. So we want to be thoroughly warmed up, but we want to conserve all of our energy as much as possible uh, for the challenging working sets. Right, so we're going to thoroughly warm up with barbell curls. Then we are going to do two sets, two working sets, and we'll keep them in the six to eight rep range. For all of the exercises during this arm workout routine, we are going to stick in the six to eight rep range. We want to make sure we have a challenging weight uh, that we can't do more than eight, but we can get at least six. The next exercise that we are going to do for biceps are alternating dumbbell curls. We're going to do two sets. Then we're going to go to curl bar curls, a slightly different angle with the bar, and we're going to do two sets. We're going to finish off the bicep portion of this workout routine with hammer curls, and we're going to do just one set, and that, again, will be in the six to eight rep range. We're now going to go to the tricep portion of this arm workout routine. The first exercise that we're going to do for triceps are rope tricep pull downs. We're going to do two sets. For our next exercise for triceps, we're going to lay down on a bench. We're going to use the curl bar curl and do tricep presses. We're going to do two sets in the six to eight rep range. Our next exercise for triceps will be lying tricep extensions. Again, we're going to be laying down, and on this one, we want to make sure we keep our elbows tucked in because they'll really want to flare out during this exercise. We're going to do two sets. Again, this will be in the six to eight rep range. We're going to finish off the tricep portion of this arm workout routine with overhead dumbbell tricep presses. We're going to do just one set and we want to make sure that we really control the weight in the range of motion where we keep the tension on the triceps and we really want to make sure that our elbows stay tucked in on the way up and on the way down. We're going to finish off this arm workout routine with forearms. The first exercise that we're going to do will be standing dumbbell wrist curls. It's a very simple movement. We'll do two sets. We'll get a challenging enough weight to keep us within the six to eight rep range. We're gonna finish off the forearm portion of this arm workout routine with wrist curls. And we will do two sets and we will make sure that we stay in the six to eight rep range. So that's gonna do it for this arm training workout routine. You stick with this routine, you execute it, you get better and better at it, and it will help you build bigger arms. Do you want more workouts for older men? Go to manformationworkouts.com. Manformationworkouts.com, I have more workout routines that are specifically designed for older men. I've got a lot of information for you in this exclusive members only website. I'm gonna give you instant access, lifetime access to workout routines, nutrition advice, motivation, and a lot more. Go to manformationworkouts.com Fill out the questionnaire. I want to know more about you. I want to know about your goals and your challenges, what you need to know more about to eliminate your confusion and overwhelm. I know there's so much of that on the internet. Fill out the questionnaire, submit it to me. Who knows, uh, when I see really passionate, driven men, just like you and me, who fill out the questionnaire, I might give you a phone call. We might talk for 10 or 15 minutes to help you get through all of this confusing information. So get instant lifetime access into workouts that are specifically designed for older men at manformationworkouts.com. Make sure that you're on all of my social media platforms. I am posting more videos, produce videos, live videos, blog posts, workout routines, images for motivation. I have podcasts all over social media. You don't want to miss any of it. So make sure that you are on my mailing list so you'll be alerted when I post all this powerful information for older men. You also want to make sure that you post your comments and your questions down below. I'll go through these videos all throughout the day and we can interact and I can answer your questions, I can read your comments down below. So if you want to take advantage of that, I will help you in any way I can. Like this video and make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel.